All right, so this is a kind of just impromptu, hopefully fun uh, reading activity. Um, and this came from requests uh, from and talking to Jason the other day. And I know he loves monster trucks. So I was looking for something about monster trucks. Did I look out and find a cool book about monster trucks? No, those exist. I'm sure they, are, they do. But I decided to go bigger than that. So let's go bigger than monster trucks. And so what I found was this book here, which is something I emailed you guys. Here it is. Bigger than monster trucks. So within the email I sent you, um, I found this book as well as, let me go back here, um, this main idea in details chart. Um, and then I made a just simple Google Slides sort of matching activity. Um, so all that's in the email I sent. Plus, um, if I can time it right, every time I say the word turn page, when it's my turn to read, and so on. So hopefully that works out. Um, I'll try to run this, read through the little story. It's very short. Um, I can't do this page, let me minimize that. I can't do this, we can't do this together, but this is something that you can do uh, after we read it later on today or at another time, because you also have this, the copy of the book that I'm gonna read. And the Google Slides, this here, you can't really run it together with me, but you can run this on your ViewSonic board um, and you can have the students touch it if they are able, um, or you can move it along with them. So as you show this, um, and we're trying to say, which one of these goes where? Oops, I'm on the wrong thing here. These can move over. And so you can kind of do a matching, uh, categorizing uh, thing like that. <clears throat> so that can't really be done live, but I can run it sort of. So let's get it started. And let's talk about bigger than monster trucks. Here's our book. Bigger than a monster truck. And I got some people coming in. I'm trying to click on that too. So I'm clicking on many things. Bigger than a monster truck. Here's the credits and so on. So big movers. Have you ever seen a monster truck? A monster truck that has big wheels and can drive almost over anything. As big as monster trucks are, there are some trucks that are even bigger. So let's see. How about this one here? It's called the Duck. The Duck is a truck that can travel on both land and water. So on land, it has six wheels. And on the water, it has a propeller. So it can go straight from driving on the road into the water. And the duck can carry people and supplies to places that are hard to reach. It can even be used by rescue workers. And sometimes this truck is used to pick up people caught in storms. And you can even ride them for fun in some places. The only place I've ever seen this kind of truck is in a big city by the water. And it's only for tourists. But there are other ways that they use them. And they are all over the place. The next one we have is right here. And this one is called the vehicle bridge. So this is an amazing machine and it's both a vehicle and an actual bridge. The vehicle bridge is used in places where you need, where there is no road or there's no bridge. So this vehicle moves the bridge into place. The bridge moves up and can go over the gap where they need to drive and other vehicles can then drive across. And when the bridge is no longer needed, it can just fold up and go back on the vehicle. So let's pause our reading and just look at this for one second here. So if we're looking at this as a choice and we say, which one of these two vehicles can drive on the water? Is it this one or is it this one? I'm going to pause for a second, see if you guys can get your students to indicate which one of these can actually drive on the water. I'll wait five seconds. 
I'll have to move it over, but when we're done reading, you guys can run this in your class and they can take as much time. So which one of these can move on the water? It is this one. That truck that can drive both on the land and the water. Now let's look at this one between these two giant monster trucks. Which one of these two can make a bridge? This truck or this truck? It is this one right here. That one can make a bridge. All right, let's get back to our story. Boom. All right. Let me get back over here. All right, so our next two examples right here is a crane. This crane can move and lift heavy objects from one place to the other. These machines help workers build buildings and unload and load cargo. And some of the world's largest cranes move containers from the ships on the sea to land. Others are used to lift supplies to the top of buildings, all the way to the top of a building. Right here, we have a big dump truck. The world's biggest dump trucks are found at mines. And miners use these trucks to haul loads of loose rock and dirt. Some trucks can move up to 400 tons of soil. That is a lot. Because they carry such heavy loads, they use some of the biggest tires in the world. And the tires are over 13 feet tall, twice as tall as a person. Now, if you're able, look up to the ceiling. And you can kind of see in this picture, kind of right here. But it's hard to tell to get a perspective. The tire is almost as tall as where the ceiling is. And see, my arms don't even reach. My arms get cut off. You look up at the ceiling, and that's how tall the tires are. That is huge. All right, let's switch over to our Google Slides just real quick. So if we were looking at, let me get my mouse over here. We were saying between these two trucks, which one is really, really tall that can reach all the way even to the top of a building? Between these two big trucks, which one would it be? It would be this one right here. They are, these cranes are very, very tall. And you can see in that picture, that's like a cell phone tower or something. That is super tall. All right, let's just finish this story out. So the next time type of trucks that we have is an overland train. And I'm gonna skip that one. I'm gonna move to this one, the moving space vehicle. Look at this thing. What is on the top of this giant truck? That is a spaceship. So some of the world's biggest vehicles were made to move spacecraft. They carry rockets, space shuttles, and other vehicles on a platform that it can be two stories high. These vehicles are so wide that they need their own special road. And computers and a team of about 30 people help to move these giant machines. These are so big. If you look right here, this is a picture of a pretty big van. Here's the size of the truck. So you kind of get a perspective, even though it's a tiny picture. These are gigantic. So here are some other ones, some vehicles that dig. We have giant power shovels. These can move and shovel dirt. And we have tunnel diggers that can build giant tunnels under the earth. We even have what's called the Bagger 288, which is enormous. And it can look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than a bridge. It is so big. So I'm not gonna take the time to read all of it, but you as a class can go ahead and read all these. And we even talk about some other vehicles and there's a glossary for some keywords for this book here. And that's all that we have for the book. Now, for you as a class, it's your choice, whatever you wanna do on how you wanna run it, you can read through this um, with your class. Um, and again, you have the Google Slides, each of you have a link to that. So if you just click on that, you can run that as a class, have the students bring it over to try to categorize which truck is which. I don't cover each one, um, but it's most of them there. And then you have the, let me go back to the book. 
and get rid of <clears throat> not this this you have the main idea and details um and so you can go over that with your class as well and so this covers a multitude of standards the ela kind of are similar throughout um I don't know how to first grade through 12th grade so they they repeat a lot and this can be used to cover a lot of your ela standards and if you want to get creative even um, possibly some science standards and things like that. We found this whole, all this stuff randomly. And you can see up in the corner, reading A to Z. So for free, log, it has like a trial or something. Uh, so I just Googled monster truck story, found this, found the resources that came with it. Um, and it was all for free and it only took a few minutes is, to, uh, to put together. So that's says, it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions on yeah, anything about really this, cute. If you have any questions, you can ask now or ask later. Um, bigger than monster trucks. <laughs> good, good. All right, everybody. And I'll, I'll post this video too. Um, you can watch it again if the students want to watch it again, but it'd probably be more fun if you went over it in your class. Too. So, thank you. Thank you. House real big.